हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू दी आई एन आई सी टी ऑफ्थलमोलॉजी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू आई होप यू आर डूइंग फाइन एंड चिल आई यू नो एवरी पेपर हैज सम गुड एंड सम बैड बट द गुड थिंग इज दैट ऑफ्थलमोलॉजी वॉज नॉट सच अ ग्रेट प्रॉब्लम दिस टाइम सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू यू नो बेस्ड ऑन द रिकॉल वट एवर यू पीपल हैव प्रोवाइडेड अस and uh, i have lot of uh, boggling and lot of discussion with you people with all the students in getting the right options and the i try to find out the right language uh, what actually the question wanted to ask and because you know this time i think multiple answer type of questions was there they say one only one and two one to three and one to three four something like this so based on that we are there but of course you know this is memory based and i would be requiring your help in improving the language as well as options so please keep on helping in that so that you know i can come up with the uh, most authentic questions so starting with the first one ophthalmological examination of a patient is revealing the orbicularis oculi paresis then there was a leg of thalmos also uh decrease sensations or the insensitive cornea which of the following infection is likely to be associated so uh can you correct me is this answer uh, is this question correct is if the options are all right we have oncocerca volvulus we have acanthamoeba mycobacterium lepra and chlamydia a to c so please help me in this because you know um uh, now your bigger paper the need is also there so i want everybody to be little you know um, very very corrective in this and uh, because you know the right language will help us to give you the right options and these questions are high yield for your need paper also so help me in, uh, in any of the corrections this is correct thank you so much priyanka rashid so yo so this uh, has been very well covered uh, in the integrated session i have covered ophthalmology with medicine in the leprosy you know so if you look here ocular manifestations in the leprosy i have told you all the symptoms which are occurring in the lids we have got uh, we have medorosis we have got leg of thalmos even atropion entropion is there and because of this you know leg of thalmos when you are not able to close the eye there are chances of the exposure keratitis and uh, the decreased corneal sensations is a very well known sign of the uh, leprosy then we have got so many things in sclera episcleritis scleritis nodules could be there even staphylomas could be there and see i have marked also see when i was teaching even i have marked that these are the things which are really really important see one is your exposure keratopathy then in, even in the fundus uh, we also study about the iris pearls iris pearls appearance in leprosy so as expected you know because we are expecting lot of uh, uh, integrated questions right so i i think hi swarup hi vandana starry sky rn rashid welcome to all and uh, i think this is a good question uh, not a very easy one but not a uh, googly as well uh, you very well know the sensations are decreased in the leprosy we study leprosy and we have done a integrated video also of the with medicine and uh, this was a flow chart that i gave you all the eye complications in the leprosy so i think this question is not a problem everyone uh, is very very clear mycobacterium leprae with the answer is the answer right okay then um, another important thing the oncocerciasis so uh, that is actually not found in india when i teach you the vision 2020 program i taught you very well that you know oncocerciasis is a part of vision 2020 program but this is actually not found in india this is not found in india so because uh, this is not found in india so instead of this what we take in india is the retinopathy of prematurity and the diabetic retinopathy and i think uh, you know according to the age you know retinopathy of prematurity obviously we will take in children and uh, diabetic retinopathy we will take in adults so this we know that this is not common acha then um, 
another thing what they have given is acanthamoeba so acanthamoeba uh, again we know that this is associated with basically ring infiltrate when it comes to acanthamoeba what are the words that we are looking for we are looking for the word ring infiltrate or the ring abscess it could be a ring abscess also plus uh, we will have the radial keratoneuritis another important word will be radial keratoneuritis radial keratoneuritis because the nerves are in radial fashion so the nerves are in radial fashion we are having inflammation all over so this is radial keratoneuritis and above of all above all you will get a history of the contact lenses you get a history of the contact lenses so we are not having anything like that when it comes to chlamydia Chlamydia is actually causing the blinding trachoma. So when it comes to trachoma, actually we have got two kind of trachoma, blinding trachoma and we have inclusion conjunctivitis. Do you remember if I talk about the uh, chlamydia trachomatis? Okay. When I talk about the chlamydia trachomatis, we have got two kind of uh, the subspecies we have A, B, B, A and C. So this is what they are saying A to C. And then we have got D to K. So it is this A, B, B and C which is actually responsible for the blinding trachoma. This is actually responsible for the blinding trachoma while the D2K is responsible for the inclusion conjunctivitis. This is responsible for the inclusion conjunctivitis. Now when it comes to the inclusion conjunctivitis, again uh, why I am explaining you these things because you know every question is important for your need. So maybe this particular option was not the answer but they can slightly twist the language and the answer will be different. So you have to be very very careful. Now inclusion conjunctivitis we can do in the adults also and in the neonates also. In the adults it's very very common in swimming pools. So this will be called as the swimming pool conjunctivitis so this is your swimming pool conjunctivitis while in case of the neonates this will be your neonatal inclusion conjunctivitis so if a baby a neonate neonate matlab it will be less than 28 days so if i am having a neonate less than 28 days this will be presenting in the form of the ophthalmia neonatorum this will be presenting in the form of the ophthalmia neonatorum. So all the options are clear and we are very clear cut with the answer of this question. Right, so this question is done. Question, options, answer, everything is clear. Okay.